This is a Monday, September 20th edition of the CONCACAF Champions League Preview Show. I'm your host, Scott Kleba. Round four commences tomorrow with two games. At 8 p.m., the Columbus Crew host Santos in a top-of-the-table Group B clash. Plus, at 10 p.m., Cruz Azul welcomes Toronto FC to Mexico City for a Group A encounter. We start with Columbus and Santos. These two first met less than a month ago in Torreon, with Santos coming out narrow 1-0 winners, thanks to a goal by Ivan Estrada deep into injury time. Last week, Columbus climbed to within a point of Santos to top the Group B table with a comprehensive 3-0 win over Joe Public. All the goals came in the second half. Steven Lenhart closed out the scoring with his fourth career Champions League goal. The Andre Griffith scored the opener and he spoke to CONCACAF TV. I mean, we play very well, we keep the ball and uh, we are really organized at the midfield and the back and the striker and uh, we move the ball really well. I think it's just, uh, we need to just uh, be concentrated and try to, to score more goals and try to have more chances and stuff and, uh, and it'll be okay. I think we're going to go through to this group. Columbus suffered a 4-0 loss at home this weekend to the Seattle Sounders in MLS play. However, the crew have won their two Champions League games at Crew Stadium. Santos let a two-goal lead slip away at Municipal last Tuesday and had to settle for a 2-2 tie, ending the Guerrero's four-game CCL winning streak. In Apertura play on Saturday, Santos beat visiting Nacaxa 2-1. In their last five Champions League away games dating back to 2009, they have two wins, a tie, and two losses. Cruz Azul has been rampant in Apertura and Champions League play, while Toronto FC is trying to find its footing. When they met in round one, Toronto pulled off one of the surprises of the group stage with a 2-1 win over La Máquina. Their fortunes have changed since then. Cruz Azul won their next two games while Toronto lost theirs. Last Wednesday, Cruz Azul overwhelmed Arabe Unido in Panama City 6-0. Javier Orozco struck for three goals. Emmanuel Villa added two goals and CONCACAF TV caught up with him after the game. Fortunately, everything worked for us, and we go back home happy with the result. The most important thing is that the team is playing well. We are trying and taking advantage of any opportunity we have. It makes me happy to see we are staying on that path, because this is just starting. We haven't won anything yet. Los Cementeros have won their last eight home Champions League games, scoring five or more goals in four of them. Last week, Toronto fired head coach Preki, and Nick Dasevic, his interim replacement, was in charge for a 4-1 loss at Real Salt Lake, even though they took an early lead through Maicon Santos. In domestic play, Toronto bounced back on Saturday with a dramatic 2-1 win at the Houston Dynamo. Well, that's all for today. Please join us again tomorrow when we take a look at Wednesday's games. Remember to log on to CONCACAF.com for live games, highlights, news, previews, and more. Thanks for watching CONCACAF TV, your source for the Champions League.